Okay, this is Paul, and um, got some great news for everybody that's bought this car calf camera. And that news is that they the new update is, is now live. Um, it's not on their website. You've got to update it directly from inside the camera. I only found it accidentally this evening. So um, basically, you've got the, so long as you've got the latest update that's on the website is installed in your camera, which can be a bit tricky to put in, but if that's inside the camera, then go into the menu system, go down to where it says info, and there there's a button that says uh, update. You've got to make sure that you're on Wi-Fi and make sure that you're logged into your account and uh, click update, and it will tell you there's an update available. And without you pressing anything, the camera will start to update itself. It takes about five, six minutes to do. Reboots a few times. At the end of the update, you have to reinitialize, re in, reinitialize the camera. There's a button that's reinitialized near the near the reset. Reinitialize the camera, and then the the camera's going to work fine. The updates that are in the camera are really exciting. So um, one of the ones that they said they weren't going to bring, and I was asking for it, and I think they had to bring it, and that is this camera now. It injects the metadata into the video and the photo files. So you haven't got to do anything off, you know, you haven't got to put all your video files in another thing to put the metadata in there. It's doing it inside the camera. Okay, that's one amazing thing. Second thing is you've got real 8K. You've got multiple uh, resolutions that it shoots the video in. So it will shoot 4K, it will shoot 6K, it will shoot 7.2K and it will shoot 8K. Okay. Um, and the other thing, what it's got is it's got four color profiles, and all of them are better than the original one that was oversaturated uh, with horrible shadows. Now you've got um, indoor bright lit, indoor dimly lit. This is dimly lit, I've got it set on at the minute. We've got adding outdoor cloudy and outdoor, outdoor sunny. So they're all like that, that's good. Um, as well as that, what else is there? Um, in the photos, you've also got these different resolutions in the photos. Um, I think I think that's pretty much it that I could see. Um, there is some stuff for doing live feed, but I don't do live feed, so I didn't, didn't really look into that. So this video is the first real video that I'm recording. This is at 50 um, bits per second. Um, I was recording at 100 bits per second. 8K, but I think my memory card's not fast enough, so I'm gonna to have to get a new memory card. Um, so I'm recording this directly into the camera storage because I believe that would be faster than my memory card. And this is 50 uh, bits per second, 8K, and uh, yeah, let's see what uh, see what that does. All right, so I've got a wedding to shoot tomorrow. I'm videoing a wedding tomorrow for a client, and they don't know this, but I'm gonna pull this camera out and get some preview footage throughout the day as well as the what they paid for so uh, and that would be a good test of the camera and i'll show that on youtube at some point and um, follow my business page labyrinth mini movies so i'll be putting my videos on labyrinth mini movies from now on now the camera's getting better quality hopefully and um, let's see what happens yeah